up guys what's up Taruk hi what's your problem did you miss me hmm. ah. did you did you miss me you little brat you little bratty baby you little monster she's such a little She's so spoiled. Such a spoiled little child. Ah. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do? Ah. So, in case you guys didn't know, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you did, you would know that I just got back into town. So I was doing a tattoo convention in Tampa. I just got back into town last night. When I go out of town, I have, when I go out of town, I have a friend of mine who helps take care of the snakes here. He stays at my house while I'm out of town, watches all the animals, takes care of the cats, takes care of the dogs, takes care of the tortoises, the fish, all the animals. The snakes don't need anything when I'm out of town. Taruk, she goes to Golden Cockatoo and they have a big cage for her and they play with her and they take care of her and she loves going there. So, I got back home, and this is in my mailbox. I'm already just not thrilled about this. It sucks. City of Boca Raton Fish and Lotus. I remember the first time I got it, same, same thing. It's the last thing that I need right now. Would you stop? So again, here we go again. Notice a violation hearing. Special Magistrate of City of Boca Raton, Florida. Code compliance, blah, blah, blah. I previously, have previously been notified of an alleged violation. Code compliance contends that the following violation continues to exist. Nuisance animal noises. Accordingly, according to the magistrate, they have set a hearing for November 14th, 2019 at 1.30 Boca Raton City Hall. Awesome. You are requested to appear, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sucks, dude. Again, man. Again. Uh -oh. Sucks, dude. I don't get it. Like, and I knew that this was gonna happen because this time of year, she gets crazy. She's only, she's almost two, so I haven't had to deal with it that much. I've had her since she was a baby, but hey, would you relax? But she goes through these things where she has these little scream fits during the day where you just scream for no reason and you have plenty of toys and plenty of food and plenty of everything. I take her out every morning and she flies for two hours in the morning, easily. She, the first two or three hours of the day, I take her out of her cage, put her on her perch, flies back and forth, she gets all of her energy out, I give her her food on her perch, she drinks, I play with her, she's still going crazy. I get it, she's a girl, she's going through this hormonal stage right now. I'm being very careful about where I touch her. I'm not trying to like stimulate her at all. Obviously it's hard to like not touch a bird's back or touch a bird's belly or you know what I mean or touch their or touch their tail. It's hard. They're cute. You just want to pet them, and they want it. She wants to love. But I don't know what to do, man. It sucks. I need to move. Is really what it comes down to. Like I'm gonna have to go to this court hearing now on November 14th. Well, I got a few weeks, but it sucks, man. I hate, this. I hate, I hate East Boca. I hate living here. It sucks. Like I love my house. 
I love my backyard. I've worked my ass off to live where ah. I live, okay? But people just people just don't like a young tattooed guy over here, I guess, and they're just gonna complain about everything. Ah. And yeah, yeah, I get it, it sucks. Like, you think that I'm not annoyed by my bird screaming throughout the day? Yeah, it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Cause she's loud. This is not a little bird. Look it up online. Macaws are some of the loudest. She screams bloody murder. Okay? It sucks. Like, I don't want to deal with it. I know my neighbors don't want to. But I've done a lot of things in the past to help prevent it. I made a, I made a soundproof blanket thing. I bought a bunch of those soundproof tiles or whatever on Amazon. And put them together on this tarp. I'm about to hang that up in her room. I'm gonna move her cage. I'm gonna move her cage from that big floor room that I have. I'm gonna move that cage out. I'm gonna put that cage where her nighttime cage is. I'm gonna put her nighttime cage in where her big playtime cage is. Ah. And hopefully that does something, you know? Maybe having her more into my house, ah. her scream won't echo across the canal to the neighbors in the back. I don't know, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I gotta move, obviously, but it's like, I can't just like, it's not like, oh yeah, just move. Yeah, move yeah, let me just like pack up my whole house full of everything. Like, dude, I got a two bedroom house with my stuff. This is my house, my house. I've lived here, you know, I've lived on my own for years. This is all my stuff. I have a garage full, motorcycles, all sorts of stuff. It's not easy to just move, you know what I mean? I need to, but it's gonna take time. And I'm trying to get my new shop open right now too. So, dude, it's just, it's a lot. Now what do I do? Do I have to move before I open up my new shop? That would suck. I need to open, I need to get my shop open. <sighs> yeah, cause right now I've just been tattooing at my friend's shop down the street. Cause I'm booked till March, you know? It's not like I can just stop tattooing. I have to, everything is, uh, it's a lot of work, it's crazy, I'm back in town now, it's time to get back to grinding. You gotta be good, you're gonna get your daddy in trouble, uh. I know, so, it sucks, I gotta look more into soundproofing things, uh. doing the windows in this house is just not an option, like, uh. I need to get hurricane rated windows. That cost tons of money. It's not ah. worth doing to this house. I'm not gonna keep this house. I need to buy a bigger house, bigger property. Ah. I'm definitely not putting any money into this place to change ah. it. So if that's the case, so be it. I'm gonna just have to figure it out ah. and move. But I'm pretty sure the last court hearing that we went to, they said the violation was gonna be a hundred ah. bucks. So I mean, what are they gonna do? Complain every month? Complain and complain and complain? I'm gonna have to go to court again and again and again and know what, pay a hundred dollar fee? If that's the case, if I have to pay a hundred bucks a month for my bird screen, shit, here you go. I'll pay you a couple hundred bucks for you to stop complaining about my bird screaming. Cause trust me, it's, her screaming is just as annoying as my neighbors complaining about it all the time. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna go try to put this soundproofing board thing, ah. blanket, tarp, whatever the hell it is that I made up. I made it a while ago. I never had to use it because she's not that loud when she's not. Right now, it's that time of the year where they're crazy, especially females. They're very ah. hormonal and they're being psychopaths. Typical, I know. But hopefully we can ah. figure this out. Stop getting me in trouble. What I do, all I do is take care of you. Ah. This is what I get. All right, well, that's that. Ah. Officially moved. I had to take the top off ah. so I can get it through this doorway, put it inside this room. Luckily, this cage is pretty easy to disassemble and reassemble, and it's not very heavy. This room. So we put the nighttime cage here. Got the nighttime cage right here. 
in the middle of the room. She's very quiet when she's in this cage, so I don't have to really worry about her screaming inside here for the most part. Then this, this broke off already. I used some adhesive. What I did was I glued these pads to this tarp paper, attached the tarp to the ceiling. So it's this whole wall. It's got these little soundproof pads I got off Amazon. Hopefully they work. We'll see. I gotta fix I gotta fix this section right here. I'm probably gonna go get some like some thread and some string. I'm just gonna sew those onto there because I tried using rivets, that didn't really work. The glue, I guess, doesn't stick very well to this plastic. That kind of sucked. I should have got some like I probably should have got some like cloth tarp just so it could like absorb into it and stick better, but that's what we're working with for now. Hopefully it does something. Sucks. This this room was awesome, you know, it overlooks the canal. It's got windows on every side. She gets plenty of light and things to look at all day. And now that's gone. Now you're stuck in this room, which is darker. Not as big. That sucks, but whatever it is, what it is. I gotta, gotta do what I can. Um, I'm probably gonna take pictures of everything. No, not probably, I am. I'm gonna take pictures of everything I've done to try to help with the noise. That way I can show them I am, I am trying, you know, I'm doing things. Like this is not an easy process. Trust me, I don't want my bird to scream either. So, here's what it is. I need to find those, uh, there's a company online, I forget what it is. Um, I gotta look at the old videos, but somebody recommended me, they're like these soundproof tarps. Maybe I could look into that for the time being. What I really need, what I really need to do is move, honestly, because this, this sucks, man. Like, obviously I can't get rid of her. She's my baby, you know. Get rid of everything before I get rid of it. <sighs> stressful. Super stressful. It's not what I not what I want to get back into town and find out and then have to deal with right off the bat. It sucks for sure. But that's Boca for you. I live around a bunch of rich white souls. I need to be in the country around nobody doing my thing. We gotta go west, Rook. Or nobody's gonna care about you screaming. Okay? You're psycho. You crazy bird. You're crazy. You're so crazy. You're so crazy. Stay tuned. November 14th. Follow me on Instagram. Daily updates. Hey, you. You are not allowed on top of this cage. She's gonna, she's gonna destroy that fan in two seconds. You're not doing that. Get back in your cage. Thank you very much. All right, back to doing other things that I have to get to. It's always something, you know? I need to answer some emails, get back to some people. I gotta do a bunch of things. Time to get back to work. Gotta grind. All right, guys. Sorry for my lack of energy in this video. Obviously, this is not a fun one. But, you guys keep asking about it. It's what's happening. I'm keeping you posted. Even though I don't like to. Because it sucks. The last thing I want to do is make a video about how all my neighbors hate my bird and I might have to move. Because it sucks. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to cost a lot of money. It is what it is though. So. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who actually gives a bit about this. Peace.